Hey YouTube, Dawson Ryder here with a review of the Power Rangers Dino Charge Double Strike figures. In this first wave, we have the blue, red, and green rangers. Uh, so this line is uh, a line of figures which we've essentially got since Samurai. We might have gotten stuff similar before, but Samurai um, is the closest form of this. Is there are these um, slightly larger scale figures that have some sort of uh, gimmick. You know, you press a button, he slashes a sword, um, he twists around. That type of gimmick we've been getting it since Samurai. And they've always been pretty okay looking figures, I thought. Um, I believe I only picked up all of the Super Mega Force ones. I picked up one Mega Force one, and they always looked pretty decent, I thought. Uh, the main problem with them being that um, a lot of their joints were in fixed poses, uh, the gimmick um, of the moving arms or waists also created some fixed poses, so when you if you wanted to display them, uh, you were kind of stuck. Now with these, they actually fixed quite a bit of those problems, which is really neat. Um, let's go ahead and jump right in, I guess. Uh, the packaging is like this two pieces of little flimsy cardboard, it's not even worth showing. Uh, but so we have the Red Ranger figure here, um, and as you can see, they look pretty good. Just like the um, the ones of the past, they look pretty good on their own. I think um, these actually, regardless of how they fix it detail-wise, I think one of the are one of the better looking figures just as a display piece. Uh, the paint's all pretty well done, the only uh, glaring detail I notice here is on the chest, the T-Rex part's a little different, and the back is blank, but other than that, uh, he looks pretty decent. Um, he's got a um, the his T-Rex weapon molded onto him, which he would normally have the armed on piece there, and there's one solid gray piece. Um, now their gimmick comes from spinning, so you essentially wind them up like a wind-up toy, and uh, press this button back here, and and then your finger stops them and you make a fool of yourself. There you go. That was underwhelming now that I like ruined it. Let's let's do this right. There we go. Boom. So that's how real people move. Um, but so yeah, that's their gimmick, just like other ones. But that's really not what's important to me about these. I mean, th I always thought they could be kind of neat and a little fun, uh, depending on what you use. But what's nice about these is these are actually pretty well articulated. Uh, you are not fixed anymore. Uh, you have a nice little hinge joint here. You can move up and down and around. You have a single elbow joint that you can actually move. Um, you can move on the legs as well. Uh, you can move their legs around, up and around. You can bend their knees. So you can get them in poses. Obviously, this creates an effect here so you can actually get a cool like pulling back for a punch pose uh, unfortunately you obviously you do have this discrepancy in his waist uh, but still that's cool uh, you can move his head um, it's not full-fledged like armored uh, figure articulation, but it's pretty decently articulated for the style. So it's really nice that if you're not playing with it or something, uh, and you want it on the shelf, um, and you, you're, you're not into the gimmick, uh, it's a nice looking display piece, I think. And the, they fixed it so that you're not stuck uh, with various uh, like fixed poses or the, the gimmick poses force an arm to be up in the air. And you can actually pose it and look like a uh, a pretty cool looking figure. Um, here we have the Blue Ranger who also has his uh, weapon molded solid on here, the shield. Like I said, normally you would have the armored up here. Um, and then he also has the Morpher molded on. Uh, but yet again, I think it's a pretty solid looking figure for um, what this typically is. And he has the same exact um, articulation options as Red. Um, he can also spin around. Damn it. Spin around, you jerk. We cavemen don't know how to spin. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's pretty cool. You can just get him in these various poses if you want. You're not stuck whatsoever with um, these fixed poses. I'm just I'm I'm pretty impressed with it. Here we have greens as well. Uh, same deal. Let me here, let's spin him out like this. Let's let's go for some crazy spinning action here. Wow. Why do I? This is just like the the day of uh, underwhelming spins. Boom. He got so mad he knocked over Coda. Um, but yeah, so you can still spin on him. Stay up, Coda. Um, he's got his weapons molded on. He's got the Dino Saber um, holding it in the backwards fashion like he does. He's got his weapon here. Um, but yeah, it's this is the most odd looking, I think, just in terms of proportion. I don't know what it is. Um, maybe it's just because reasons. That seems right. That seems like a professional thing to say. But that's a little look at him. But yeah, overall, honestly, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with these. Um, I was just taken by surprise by how much I actually ended up liking these, because usually I buy these and they're like, oh, this is okay. They're just going to kind of sit on the shelf and maybe go into storage later, but they ended up being pretty solid figures. I mean, I can definitely see the spinning thing is, I think, more of a definitely a, a fun for kids thing. Not that I don't get uh, childish entertainment out of that, but um, I was 
like I said many times, I'm pretty impressed with these. I mean, there could be a few little better details on it, uh, maybe include the armor so it's more accurate, maybe a little more paint on certain little parts, but for the most part, for what they are and what I was expecting, uh, these figures surprised me in actually being pretty decent looking figures. And they, um, kind of similar to the uh, five inch figures, I think they're like between the five inch and the armored figures, they're not that muscular. I mean, they have muscles uh, compared to like the actual suits, but they're, they don't seem as roided out. They're just more toned kind of. It seems weird discussing that, but I, like I said, they're just pretty nice looking figures. So if you're on the fence about these, I can recommend picking one up and just seeing how you like it. Cause I was quite surprised by how much I actually ended up liking these figures compared to um, how much I liked them in the previous years. But anyway, that's about it. Until next time, make sure you check out the crazy podcast at writersrangersrambles.com. And of course, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, it's Dawson Rider, signing out.